Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're taking a closer look at the works of mercy, first the corporal works, then the spiritual. Today, the final corporal work of mercy, burying the dead. Many of these works of mercy can be used to prevent the suffering of living people, and the burial of the dead is no exception. It can prevent both physical and emotional suffering. Physical suffering can be prevented because a corpse gives off an unpleasant odor and can even spread disease. Burying the body prevents these things from harming the living. Burial also prevents the emotional suffering of having to witness the decomposition of the body of a loved one. Many of us like to remember our loved ones as they were when they were alive, and that's harder to do when you've witnessed the state of their physical body after a long time spent in the grave. There's a reason why old tombs and skeletons still gross us out. Dead bodies also remind us of our own fates, how each of us will eventually die. And while a certain amount of respect for that fact can be helpful, providing us with the humility that we desperately need, dwelling on it too much can make a person morose and unable to enjoy the good things in life. Additionally, there's another reason for burying the dead, especially for Christians. Jesus will return one day, calling to himself those who died in faithfulness to him. All of those people will be resurrected on that day in the same way that he was, being given bodies of incredible splendor and power with which to live happy lives in his presence. And as St. Paul said in 1 Thessalonians 4.16, this will happen before anyone else is admitted to his presence. Headstones, coffins, and graveyards in the Christian tradition were used to prepare a person's body for that day when it would be restored and glorified. Many of the old graves were even made to face east, so that the dead would be facing the Lord when he came. It's believed that God will come from the east when he arrives. These kinds of little methods of preparing the dead show respect for the dead, respect for the health and feelings of your fellow man, and respect for God who will one day return to save the righteous from death of every kind. Next, how can we instruct the ignorant? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.